and welcome to this episode of Orion at Your Library. My name is Karen Knox. I'm the director of the Orion Township Public Library, and I'm here today with Beth Sheridan, the head of adult services, Hello. and James Pugh from Youth Services. Hello. And we have a lot of really exciting things to tell you about that's happening at the library in November and December of this year. We really hope that you can come out and join us for some of these events because there's going to be a lot of fun things happening. And we're starting off with something that actually kicked off um, at maybe at the end of October, the Dragon Award voting. Yes. So uh, the Dragon Award voting is for third, fifth, uh, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Um, it is our fifth annual Dragon Award. So what we did is we picked five chapter books that these kids can pick out. Then they can go to our website and comment as to what their favorite book is and why they think it should win the Dragon Award. And then on October 30th, the entire week, you can vote for your favorite book. And then we'll announce the winner on November 7th. So or the voting ends on November 7th. We'll announce the winner on November 8th. So keep a check out on our website and social media pages. That's awesome. So we'll have a brand new Dragon Award winner in a couple more weeks. Our fifth one, yes. Our fifth one. <laughs> Our fifth Dragon Award winner. Awesome. And we'll put the nice Dragon Award seal on it and announce it to everybody. So, yes. so make sure that uh, those third, fourth, and fifth graders get out there and finish reading and start voting. In and a you can bit. vote on our website. Don't forget that. Vote on our website, orionlibrary.org. All right. Very good. And then we also have a series um, that we started in October in um, the Adult Services Department on World War I in America. Tell us more about that, Beth. Okay. Well, the library was awarded a grant this year um, with, called World War I in America, which marks the 100th anniversary of, the na of our nation's entry into the war. And it did, uh, the programming started in October, but during November we have some great speakers um, coming that we'd love for you to um, come listen to. There's one um, November 1st, Wednesday, November 1st at 7. The title of that program is World War I Hello Girl. Um, it's a storyteller who's going to share the story of a Michigan teenager who worked as a telephone operator in France. And it should be a really cool. interesting story. Her name was Alita Christie's. And then on Tuesday, November 14th, uh, we have Dr. Aaron. Eric Brashears, who is a psychologist with the John D. Dingle Veterans Affair Medical Center, and he's going to talk, speak on the topic of PTSD. Um, this is an important po topic that affects all vet uh, lots of veterans and their families, so we hope many of you will come. And it's going to, he's going to welcome questions and discussion, but you don't have to. It's just he's going to do whatever the audience um, feels like, make it that interactive. And then the third uh, program under this, uh, d this grant is called The Makings of America, a World War I Homefront Story, which is Saturday, mm -hmm. November 18th at 2. And a local historian is going to talk to you about how um, the war affected people in Michigan. One big thing he told me about that I thought was interesting was that a lot of the uh, workforce in Michigan that were building the infrastructure and the uh, arms and all that kind of thing actually were European workers. So they're building things to fight against their home their country. Countries. So, mm -hmm. hope you join us for all of those programs. Wonderful. And that will finish up our grant series for that, but um, mm -hmm. we've had so many great things, so that sounds like really interesting programs coming up for that. Okay. And then we also have a series that we started over the summer called SNAP, and that's our Special Needs Adults Programming. And that's a collaboration between many departments, including our volunteer coordinator, Lori Morris, and Deb Briefier over in the Youth Services Department helps with that as well. And we have a couple of uh, things coming up for special needs adults to come to the library. The, f the next one is on November 3rd, and they're going to um, look at the seasons. So the season of fall is going to be explored in music and stories and activities for special needs adults, and that's on November the 3rd. And then there'll be another one again on December the 1st, and we're going to be looking at the winter season and some of the things that we do in winter. And again, it'll be stories and activities. And if you have any questions about the SNAPS uh, programming, please call the library and um, we'd be happy to tell you more about it. But we're excited that that program series is continuing, so that's kind of fun. And then we also have some game stuff coming up as well, mm -hmm. don't we, Beth? Yes, we're kind of shifting gears from learning about World War I to having fun with games. There's International Games Day on Saturday, November 4th from 11 to 4, and this is for your, the whole family. We're celebrating the end of International Games Week with our Tabletop Game Day. Bring the whole family. We'll have lots of new, innovative games. You can bring your own game and spend the whole day inside in a you know, November day from 11 to 4 having fun. 
The other um, thing is OT, um, the Team Trivia Tournament, which we've had ongoing for a few years, and it's at the C-Pub, and it's on Wednesday, November 8th, and Wednesday, November, or December 13th, and you gather up a team, and we do library trivia. So we hope you can make it to all of those. That's awesome. And for the team trivia, they should call and register yes. ahead of time for those, right? Correct. And how many people on a team for the trivia? Up to six. Between to two to six people. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's always a lot of fun over at the C Pub, and people get some food and drinks and answer mm -hmm. trivia questions and maybe learn a couple things here and there, too. Yeah. So awesome. And then um, we also have some fun stuff happening over in the youth department. I know we have our Pick Up Steam program continuing. Yes, Pick Up Steam, it is a preschool friendly science, math, and learning series. Uh, so kids ages three to six can stop in and do some uh, fun math, science experiments, and crafts. Um, we have two sessions in November and December. Um, the first one in November is all about the fall season. And then the second one in December is all about space. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of uh, learning experiences, and um, just a lot of fun crafts, a lot of fun science with math or with math involved in it. Right. So learning and play all together. All together. That sounds like a lot of fun for our preschool crowd. And then um, our adults too are going to do a little bit of makerspace stuff, adults and teens, with a makerspace program coming up as well. Right, Beth? Yes. That is on November 11th at 11 o'clock um, in the morning, and it is like as she said for teens and adults. Um, the first 10 people to come to the, pro to the Makerspace program get to do a little mini project, uh, make it project. It's a surprise. We're not going to tell you what it is, but it will <laughs> be fun. Other than that, there's all kinds of tools out for you to tinker with. Um, there's a Sphero, a Cricut, a sewing machine, a little bit, 3D doodle pen, and much more. So stop in. It's a fun time to learn um, and, and technology. explore. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. And then I'm really excited to see that we're going to have a family yoga program. Yes. Namaste. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a fun one. So we'll have a YMCA certified yoga teacher. Uh, her name is Sasha Salvador. She'll be coming in and she'll be doing a family themed yoga program with um, very easy uh, balances, um, poses, uh, sequencing, um, and she'll even encourage um, uh, partner yoga to do with your family at home. Um, this all will be on Saturday, November 18th at 10 a.m. I think this is a great idea. That's a wonderful a idea. There's there's so many people that are into yoga yes. and, and getting the family involved. Getting the family involved is great. You know, yoga is not just for adults. It's mm -hmm. for kids and teens too. And it's a good stress release and we're coming up Definitely. on the holidays when that can be kind of stressful. <laughs> so yes. that's a good time for that. And uh, so great. Come on out for our family yoga program. And then um, finally, we have a fun snow globes craft, it sounds like, too. Yes, mason jar snow globes. Um, so elementary school, school kids can come in and make a handmade mason jar snow globe. Uh, it'll be the perfect gift for the holiday season. For Anybody sure. can um, come in and make it. Sounds good for um, grandma. Yeah. Sounds fun for grandma. We will have the mason jars, the glue, the water, um, basic, a little snowscape for you. The only thing you have to bring in is a picture that we're going to put oh. into the snow globe. Okay. Um, this will be on Monday, uh, November 20th at 6 p.m. It's an evening class. Now, space will be limited, materials will be limited, so please register for this program online. Okay, so go to orianlibrary.org and, and register for that one. But yeah, like Beth said, that's a great uh, gift for Grandma and Grandpa maybe for the holidays or Mom and Dad or whoever might enjoy I think a little, little school photo in there would be a lot of fun for yeah, Grandma and Grandpa. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That sounds perfect. Awesome. Well, um, we've mentioned a little bit about um, kids stuff and adult stuff, and we have lots of things happening for our teens as well. And Kathleen, our teen librarian, is on deck to tell us all about what's going on for teens. Take it away, Kathleen. Thanks, Karen. I have some really great team programs to tell you about coming up in November and December. First, on Monday, November 6th at 7 p.m., the library is excited to welcome Camille Leinbach from Autumn Moon Aesthetics. She will teach participants the benefits of creating your own beauty products, and everyone will leave with a custom lava lamp lip gloss and sparkle lotion bar. Space for this program is limited, so register online. Then on Saturday, November 11th at 10 a.m., Sylvan Learning Center will be here to administer a full SAT practice exam. Participants will receive their exam scores in one to two weeks, and there's a $10 charge for this class, which is due the day of the program. Students are responsible for bringing their own snack and calculator. Finally, in December, the library is going to get crafty for the holidays. On Tuesday, December 12th at 7 p.m., we'll host a do-it-yourself glass ornament decorating program. 
Then on Saturday, December 16th, teens can enjoy a holiday movie and decorate a gingerbread house. You can register for both of these programs online. Now for more information and other library activities and programs, you can check out our website at orionlibrary.org. And now we're gonna head over to Emily to hear about our author fair. Thanks, Kathleen. Um, my name is Emily Ellison, and I am the newest youth services librarian here at the Orion Township Public Library. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the author fair. So this year, our author fair will be on Saturday, December 9th from 1 to 4 p.m. And we will be featuring authors from the Metro Detroit area. We will, um, this is a perfect opportunity for you to pick up some holiday gifts for loved ones, or even to come and meet some of the authors that are here. Um, we have some reoccurring authors from last year. We have Matt Faulkner, who is a children's author, and um, Ronald Hearn, who writes adult novels, and also Andy Lockwood, um, who is a teen author. And I'm personally excited to get to meet um, Nancy Shaw. She wrote Sheep on a Jeep, one of my favorite children's picture books. So um, we look forward to seeing you guys at the Author Fair this year. Thank you so very much. And I will turn this over to Lori, um, who will be talking to you about the Little Libraries. Hello, I'm here at Friendship Park with one of our awesome little libraries. Our little libraries are a great way for the library to bring books out into the Orion community. Visitors can take a book to read and take it as long as they'd like, and then they can bring some old books that they may have at home as well to share with the public. The little libraries encourage the love of reading in our community. We put out a request in our last newsletter for families to adopt one of our little libraries and we were so surprised by the great response we got. All of our little libraries have adopt, been adopted. We have eight of them. The adopters are responsible for keeping an eye on our little libraries, such as keeping track of if there's any maintenance that needs to be done, or maybe if shelves need to put in, or if something's broken on it, and our maintenance staff can repair that. They're also responsible for refilling and stocking the little library, and they're welcome to come to the library to pick out books that we have available for that. I am joined by one of our great families that adopted the Little Library at Friendship Park. So welcome. Thank you. So tell me, why were you interested in adopting one of our little libraries? Because it's close by our house. Great. That's convenient, right? Mm -hmm. And how about you? Because it's close to a park. And do you like coming to this park? Yeah. Great. And how about mom and dad? Well, yeah, I think as a family, we've really appreciated the service that the library provides of the, having the little libraries. We love to get books from it. We love to run up and see what's new. We've been to several all around uh, town, and they have kind of a soft uh, place in our hearts for them. So we wanted to make sure that it had the love it deserved. All right. Great. Dad, anything to add? Oh, we like giving back. We wanted to do something nice for the community since... The library is doing something nice for us. So. That's wonderful. It's a great volunteer opportunity for people to get involved. And it's not in the library necessarily. It's kind of an outreach type of program. So what made you choose this location at Friendship Park? Um, because it was close to our house. Yes. And is it is it something that you like to enjoy with your family, the park and maybe the soccer fields? Yeah. Right. Okay. And what do you like most about helping with little libraries? Um, that you put can books in. put books in. Mm -hmm. Do you get to choose some from your own collections at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. And how about mom and dad? What do you like best about helping with this? that we can give back you know we've always enjoyed it and so someone else was always putting books in there so we liked uh, the ability to help out with that well we're so glad that you are one of our families that adopted our little library we're going to continue this tradition um, throughout our other little libraries and each time we will focus on a new person that's adopted one of our little libraries and spotlight them as well so next time you're out and about in the community please feel free to visit one of our little libraries throughout our parks and different areas downtown lake orion and we hope to see you and bring a book to share and take one home so thanks so much Thanks, Lori, for showing us how our little libraries are being adopted by families in the community. We really appreciate their help with keeping our little libraries stocked and making those better for us. So we still have a lot more going on at the library as well. Um, but before we get to that, um, the library is really excited that we're going to be participating in the Holiday Lighted Parade again this year. And Beth, mm -hmm. tell us how that's going to happen. 
Well, we got a book bike this summer and have been busy taking it to events. Uh, we thought it would be put away for the winter, but we've decided to ride it in the holiday lighted parade that's on December 2nd downtown. So we're going to light up our book bike and ride there. Um, we're really excited. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. if you come to the parade, be sure you wave and say hi. I think Beth, you're going to be riding it for I us, am. hopefully. Mm -hmm. And maybe some other library staff will be uh, hanging out with you as well in the parade. So we might even be... be getting snow tires. For oh, that. <laughs> that should be super mm -hmm. fun. And that's a, just a shout out to Holy Spokes right, for helping. helping us with that, with mm -hmm. our book bike. And, and I think they're going to help us with the tires, too. So yes. that should be great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So December is going to be filled with fun for the youth department, right? A lot, a lot is happening. A lot of in fun. December. Start us off with this Minecraft land party. So third through fifth graders can come in to the library um, and participate in a Minecraft land party. So that means everybody will be playing the same game. Um, you will need your own Minecraft account in order to participate. So okay. if you need to sign up for Minecraft, please do so before this. Um, uh, program. Mm -hmm. You can bring your own laptop if you want, but we will have the computers there for you. We'll have everything all set up. You just need to log into your account. Space again will be limited, so please go to our website and register online beforehand. Okay. And this will be on Saturday, December 2nd at 2. Oh, okay. Very good. So that's, I think, before the parade, same day. Yes. And um, getting a Minecraft account is free for kids, right? It is right? free, yes. Okay. You just uh, go to their website and sign up and um, just give like an email create a password, you're all set. That's going to be a popular program. Yeah, We've be done it popular. before for teens, and the younger kids really wanted to do it, so I'm yeah. glad. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so very good. Awesome. And then um, maybe for the, the younger kids, we're having a cozy up story time. Is that right? Yes, this one's going to be another fun one. So uh, another evening program, Monday, December 4th at 6 p.m. Bring your PJs, bring a blanket, bring your little stuffed animal, and we're going to have a cozy up story time with a fireplace and a, well, a Netflix fireplace, <laughs> and a, um, even hot cocoa. And then your uh, stuffed animals get to stay the night at the library in a slumber Ooh, party. Oh, fun. So I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and uh, just, it, again, it's Monday, December 4th at 6 p.m. That's awesome. I know um, we've done this in the past with our sp stuffed animal sleepovers. Yep. And, and we'll take pictures of the animals, show them what you're doing overnight, yep. uh, what the fun, well, how much fun the stuffed animals have they at have the a blast. library. They do have a blast. I wish I could stay overnight yeah. with them. <laughs> they have that much fun. We'll let them have their own party, though, without us, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And then, um, you know, this is the time of year that we're kicking off our fifth grade Battle of the Books. Tell yes. us about what's going on with that, James. So the Battle of the Books is one of our biggest programs of the year. Um, it all kicks off on Monday, November 13th. Uh, so what the, you gather your battle team, it's, uh, you'll ba battle your, gather your battle coaches, and then you'll come to the library, and then we'll announce the 15 titles that you have to read, um, and then uh, you'll read them for the next several months leading up to the big battle of the books in March. This is for fifth graders in the Lake Orion Community um, Schools. And uh, so the kickoff is Monday, November 13th at either 5.30 or 7 p.m. So you can come to either one. Okay. If you can't make one, you can come to the other. Great. And um, then for the coaches, we have a specific Battle of the Books coaches meeting on Monday, December 11th at 7. Now, this is just for the coaches, the adults who are, are running the teams. Um, and we will answer any and all questions the coaches have about the Battle of the Books that night. That's awesome. So we kick it off, get the kids we excited. We kick it off, get them all excited. Get the teams all formed, and, and then, then help the coaches help along. Help the coaches along, and then this is all for the for the next several months and leading up to the big battle in March, which awesome. we'll talk about next time, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I'm so excited to find out what those 15 titles are, too. It's always it's, a good time. It's going to be I know good. you guys have been... Been busy um, working on that. So this is again one of our biggest programs of the year because we involve all the fifth grade classes in all the elementary schools throughout the district. It's 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 a big program. It is a big program, and the private schools are welcome to join as well. Yes, correct? as long as they're fifth graders. Fifth graders, <laughs> yes, for sure, fifth graders. Awesome. So, um, and while the kids are busy reading battle books, we're having our fun cook the book program too, right, Beth? Yes. It's a book discussion where you read and cook from a certain cookbook. It's been going on for a couple years, and it's always a lot of fun. You may, uh, uh, we choose cookbooks, and for December, the next one is Monday, December 4th, and it kind of has a, a holiday theme. The two cookbooks are going to be Hometown Recipes for the Holidays or the All-American Christmas Cookbook. You pick those up at the library and then go home and choose a recipe, read the cookbook. We get together and sample people's recipes, talk about cooking, talk about the cookbook. 
it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then it, then maybe you find a new recipe that you can serve your family for the holidays even. Right. So. Um, and we have kind of a set group that comes, but we're always welcome newcomers. Just come to the library uh, the month before, so at the beginning of November, and pick up a cookbook. Awesome. Very cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. And then, my goodness, we're going to have some fun in the winter time at the beach. Is that right? Did I see that right? Yeah, that is correct. Because okay. it, on December 13th, we're all kind of sick of the cold weather, and I think we all are ready to go to the beach. So we're going to have, <laughs> for the preschoolers, they can go to the beach in a um, story time theme where we're going to uh, be listening to stories, playing with sand and water, um, just a nice little break from the cold weather on, uh, again, Wednesday, December 13th at 10 a.m. Very cool. That sounds like fun. And then our big program, one of our big programs in December is coming up, um, the ELF Workshop. How is yes. that going to work? So, all ages are welcome to attend. Um, you can come in and you can make a present for a loved one. Uh, so, crafts like that. We'll have uh, an ice cream cone tree that you can decorate and take home. Santa will be there. Oh, very good. Um, and it's just going to be fun for the whole family. Um, it's a pretty a big good chunk of the day. It'll be Saturday, December 16th, starting at 10 a.m. Okay, very good. So yeah, we've got crafts and activities. Crafts and activities and Santa. And Santa. And so, so much on that Yeah, day. absolutely. So uh, moms and dads bring your cameras for sure. <laughs> and uh, that should be a lot of fun. Awesome. And then we also are having an animal dance party. Now, I, I love dance parties. Yeah, we have We, have, sure. we have so many fun to toddler-themed dance parties. This one is animal-themed, um, so you can dress up as your favorite animal, uh, and you can show off your dance moves to our groovy tunes. We'll have some story time standards and favorites there, but we'll also have some new jams you can get down to. Cool. Um, and uh, it's just Tuesday, December 19th at 10 a.m., so don't forget, you can dress up as an animal and bring your dancing shoes. Awesome. That so. sounds like a lot of fun. Very cool. Be It'll be good to see all the different animals that are going to be represented there. So, <laughs> And then we talked a little bit earlier about our Pickup Steam program, and now we've actually started another program for the older kids. For the older kids. This one's called Full Steam Ahead. Um, so the, this is for kids ages 7 to 12, and it, again, focuses on science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Um, and this, we have one coming up on December 21st at 11 a.m. This one will be creating your own light board. You'll be exploring oh. snap circuits and little bits, which are just little scientific toys that deal with like um, creating a circuit and completing a circuit and how that works. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, um, and it's going to be also very entertaining and educational. That's again Thursday, December 21st at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. And you said that's older kids. What's the age this group for, for that? This is for 7 to 12 year olds. Okay. So it's for the older kids, yes. Awesome. And if they're doing something with light, lights, it sounds like maybe they're going to then go home and then figure out how <laughs> figure their Christmas lights are going to work. Yep. work yeah. <laughs> Help their parents out. <laughs> that sounds like a good time for that. And then um, we do have some stuff that don't forget the library is open that last week in December and we have a couple special programs for kids going on to keep them entertained during the holidays as well. So tell us about those. Yes, winter break can seem like it drags on forever. Um, <laughs> so on Wednesday, December 27th uh, at 2 p.m. we're going to have a winter break movie where you just come in, bring whatever you want to be comfortable like a bean bag, um, a blanket, whatever. We'll have the popcorn and refreshments for you. And then we'll be watching a new release DVD movie uh, that day. Um, it'll be December 27th at 2. Fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Just fun a good the... break between the holidays. Yeah, and fun. Between Christmas and New Year's, you just want to take a day. I think it'll be a good time to yeah. bring in the family and just watch a yeah, movie. Get out of the house a little bit and yeah. watch a movie. Yeah, watch a movie. that sounds fun. And we got one other thing going on that week too, right? Yeah, one of the last programs we have of the year is called National Card Playing Day. Um, it's for elementary school kids. They can come in and then spend the morning playing just a different variety of card games from Old Maid to Go Fish, whatever. We'll bring the cards, you bring your friends. Awesome, that sounds uh, like fun. That'll be th Thursday, December 28th at 10 a.m. Okay, very fun. And I, you know, grew up playing cards, and so I had no idea there was a National Card Playing Day, so that's really fun. I'm going to have to come in and play Go Fish with some of the kids, I think, that day. I want to play Old Maid. Oh, there you go. That sounds like fun. I think it'll be fun. Awesome. So as you can see, we have a ton of stuff going on, and we would be remiss in this episode if we didn't give you a little more information about what's going on with the Friends of the Library as well. And I believe we have Jan Thomas standing by to tell you more about what's going on with the Friends. Take it away, Jan. Thanks, Karen. Hello, I'm Jan Thomas, Vice President of Friends of the Warren Township 
library. Our next fundraiser is Holiday Basket Auction. Coming in November, the Friends will be hosting our annual Holiday Basket Auction. Please visit the library to bid on your favorite baskets November 11th through December 2nd. Holiday baskets are themed around and include a book. Baskets make a wonderful gift, so come out and check them out and get started on your holiday shopping a little bit early. Contact the Friends if you would like to donate an item, book or basket, for the auction. Donations should be brought to the library by October 31st and contain a list of items and approximate value. Thank you for your continued support of this fundraiser. Our winter book sale visits the library in January. Friends Member Day kicks off on Tuesday, January 23rd from 10 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Not a member of the Friends? You can join on Tuesday at the door and get first choice before the sale opens to the public. The book sale is open to the public on Wednesday and Thursday, January 24th and 25th from 10 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Half Price Book Day is Friday, January 26th from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And on Saturday, January 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., you can fill up a bag we provide you with your favorite books for just $5 a bag. Most items sell for 50 cents to $1, so this is an inexpensive way to stock up on winter reading materials. We want to thank everyone who donated books for the fall sale. We appreciate your support. If you cannot attend, please visit the library bookstore where you can buy books all year round at the best prices in town. Save the date for our sixth annual Passport to Spring. This is our cultural fundraiser featuring Greece. Our next gala will be held on Saturday, April 21st, 2018 at the library. Bring a healthy appetite and your dancing shoes and join the friends in raising money for the library. Please visit our website for more details on these events. If you're not a Friends member, please join or renew by using our website, visiting us at a book sale, or by filling out an application in the lobby of the library. Supporting your Friends organization is easy with Amazon Smile or Kroger. Sign up with these partners and a portion of your sales is donated to support Friends programming at the library. We are always looking for volunteers to assist with events and operations. No experience necessary, just a willingness to help. If you have time and a talent to share, please contact the Friends through our website at orionlibrary.org forward slash friends. Thanks, Jan. And again, if anybody's ever interested in joining the Friends of the Library, just contact the Friends directly or contact the library and you can join and participate in all their fun activities as well. They're always looking for new members. So before we close up today, I just want to mention a couple of other things. Um, the Lions Club is still partnering with us to do their really cool program called Project Kids Sight. And that's a program where any kids six months of age and older can come into the library and their vision can be tested for free. It's completely free. Um, and they are able to find all sorts of um, potential problems that kids might have with their vision. And so we, it's a completely free program. The Lions Club have really cool technology. It just takes a minute to, to, to do the test. And so if you're interested in that, come up to the library either November the 4th or December the 16th. Those are both Saturdays between 10 and 12. And the Lions Club members will be there doing the kids site vision screenings. And then we are also having a blood drive at the library in December. The Red Cross is always in need of blood. Um, especially after the hurricanes and all the um, problems that the world is having that now with uh, the need for those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So December 14th, the library is pleased to host a Red Cross blood drive. That'll be from 9.30 in the morning to 6.30 at night. So you can register online on the website for a time or call the library and we can get you signed up for a time to donate blood. It's always in high demand. And then just a reminder, we are entering the holiday season, and so the library does have some days that we're going to be closed during the holidays so that the staff can enjoy the holidays as well with their family and friends and, and give all of you in the community a chance to spend time with family and friends. So the Thanksgiving holiday is coming up in November. We're going to close at 5 o'clock on Wednesday, November 22nd, and then be closed Thanksgiving Day and the Friday after, but we will be open the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So come on out and see us after you've done all your shopping and your eating. You can come back to the library and check out some more stuff. And then for the uh, Christmas and New Year's holidays, we're also gonna be closed and that's um, similar to last year. We we're gonna be closed Friday, December 22nd through Monday, December 25th for the Christmas holiday. And then again, the following week, Friday through Monday, uh, December 29th through January 1st. 
So um, make sure that you set your calendars accordingly for that. And if you have any questions at any time, feel free to give the library a call. We're always available to take your calls at 248-693-3000. Or check us out online at orionlibrary.org. All of our events are on our website. Um, and we'll be having all sorts of fun, uh, enjoying time with you when you come in to see us um, mm -hmm. during these next few months. So have a great winter season, and we'll see you soon.